So you have to, or as an organization, the Nets front office right now has to legitimately think about their five-year plan at this point. If the if you are going to literally allow Kevin Durant to walk with four years left, you have mm-hmm. Ben Simmons and you have Kyrie for him. I mean, the fact that they are even entertaining this, like, I, I legitimately think they're not. I, I think that they're pretending to entertain it, and they're going to mm-hmm. eventually, they're going to make those guys run it back for a year, and they'll probably get uh, Kyrie moves in a sign and trade next year after he goes. I mean, there is report. Option, you know what I mean? But I just don't see how it makes sense from a business standpoint Absolutely. when you have a top three value. We're talking gold. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm going to just trade it for coppers and silver. That or but things your that could- team. But your team, your own team bounced them, swept them. Like, and you had that top three talent. And I understand because, you didn't have Ben Simmons. I understand you don't like Kyrie's even a little hobbled. Yep. But yeah, like, so maybe look, they're right? thinking that. Let's really talk about it. Like Byron alluded to off of what you and Sharp were saying, right? Good organizations make good decisions. Kyrie and KD got there. The Nets let gave them the keys to that Lamborghini and said, crash it into that wall, that wall, that wall, with that wall. You know what I mean? It's just-